I've called uh, the valley here uh, home for the last 24 years. It's, she wins. it's crazy, you know, uh, so beautiful, lovely here. And um, that's why I left Germany a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to do about a 20 minute presentation today. And we are going to tell you why we think our top reasons why you should bring a group to Snowmass. Absolutely. Yes. I'm excited for this. Thank you so much, everybody uh, that joined us today. I know everybody's super busy. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's get why don't it. we like uh, fire up our newest winter video, Mario? Yep. Fire away. So we are going to uh, separate our presentation into two seasons. Oh. We're going to do winter and summer. So yeah. we're going to start with winter because we actually had a snowstorm last night and we are getting excited for the ski season. Yep. Two more weeks to go, maybe even earlier. The mountain is open and yep. uh, we are all, like we say here, stoked. We are stoked. Okay. <laughs> we are going to play our video the now. Hi. <laughs> I'm ready to go skiing. Let's go. Well, I'm, you know, you, Freddy. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I love this video and it really looks right now like from uh, our office. It just looks like that. So we really spoiled and um, yeah. So Margo, what do you think? What is one of the most important things so uh, when people plan to come to Snowmass? Good question. So right off the bat, our airport, we utilize Aspen Airport 15 minutes from Snowmass. So we're talking three major airlines coming in from nine different cities. So from a planning perspective, logistically, it's super easy. Yes. All of our lodging does airport pickups. So one less thing that planners have to worry about. And you can actually fly in and ski in the same day. Yeah. Yeah. If you're really organized, you can probably fly get your skis on and be on the hill in 30 minutes. You gotta be organized, but it is absolutely doable. Yes, yes, absolutely. yeah. Yes. So um, just to talk a little bit about uh, the airport. Yeah. You know, um, we have uh, United, Delta and American Airlines service the um, Aspen airport, which is just like Margo said, 15 minutes away from Snowmass and uh, all our lodging partners, they have complimentary transportation. Uh, we have uh, direct flights from nine major airports, which are San Francisco, Los Angeles, Denver, of course, uh, Chicago, Atlanta, Dallas, Austin, and Houston. Yeah. And it's all jet service. So there's no service <laughs> into the Aspen Airport. And the Aspen Airport is actually one of the most frequented mountain airports in the continental US. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. So... 15 minutes from the airport, can you kind of give us a lay of the land um, yeah. and kind of talk about who our special neighbors are? Yes, our special neighbors obviously are Aspen, let's say, therefore the Aspen Airport. It's uh, um, Aspen is about 20 minutes from Snowmass, um, and uh, we shouldn't forget about the Moon Bells, uh, Colorado's most beloved and most photographed uh, peaks. It's right between Aspen and Snowmass. And, um, yeah, it's everything is just so close, easy to get to, and uh, that's why I would love coming to Snowmass. Yes. So another from a planner's perspective, once you get into the town yeah. of Snowmass, you don't need rental cars, you don't need shuttle buses. We have a free bus system, and everything's walkable. So from a planning perspective, that is another logistic people don't have to worry about. So Freddie, 
Can I have a ski and ski out meeting? Oh yeah, this is what Snowmass is really known for. Our ski in, ski out uh, meetings, or in the summer, the hike in, hike out um, meetings. 95% of our properties are um, ski and ski out, uh, built right into the mountainside of Snowmass uh, Mountain. And we have a mix of, of everything really, from luxury to ski chalets, from high-end to affordable. And especially our CMEs that love to come in the winter, love that because they have fellows that need to watch their budget maybe a little bit closer. They have affordable options. Um, but um, yeah, and we're all, all really like all our stakeholders play so well together. If you need a mix and match of like affordable and luxury and maybe condo, yeah. we get to that later. A lot of the combination. Um, yeah. They love the combination and we here at the tourism office, we just put that together. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of CMEs, can you yeah. kind of tell us a little bit about the history, what types of groups typically come to Snowmass? Yeah. Snowmass is very popular with continuing medical education in the winter. So the first session is early in the morning, then everybody goes skiing <laughs> and they come for back for upright ski and have their second session. Um, obviously, continuing legal education, the associations love us, especially in the fall when pricing is um, very attractive, mm -hmm. so beautiful and, uh, and warm. Uh, and then we love our incentive groups and of summer as well as winter. Obviously, we have FIT, domestic and international ski groups. But we cannot forget it. Heaven Can't forbid, forget we forget the our wedding. own weddings. Yes, we have a <laughs> lot of weddings here in Snowmass. The couples tend to love the yes. big mountain backdrop. And uh, speaking about large mountains, can you tell us a little bit about the ski mountain itself? Oh, yeah, Margo. You know, size matters. And we here in Snowmass have over 3,300 acres of uh, ski skiable terrain. Uh, anything from... Um, beginner to intermediate to expert and obviously to crazy. So there's a little bit for everybody. So you, when you choose to come to Snowmass, you do not have to be the expert skier. Right. You, you know, there's um, a little bit for everybody on the map. Yeah, and I think that's a huge point. So if you bring a group here, you don't have to worry about whether they've never skied before no. or they're experts. They're staying at Snowmass Mountain. Yeah. So you're not shipping people out to another mountain because they want to do something harder or something easier. You're not shipping people out to another town to go ski. Our village and our ski mountain are all together. So yes. one less thing you have to worry about. We also, a lot of our product have rental shops right on site. So yes. I know planning a ski trip can be daunting, but we're here to help everything run smoothly and you know really help you guys get Get here, get moving, get outside, and get doing what's really important to the group. So I we really, like to keep it logistically easy. Yes. And our partners that have the um, meeting space have those ski concierges. So you really, like, literally mm -hmm. ski in, yeah. take all, like, your skis off, get into your slippers, and walk back into your um, conference room, your boardroom, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Very lucky. And not only do we have Snowmass Ski Area, we actually have four mountains yes. we can choose to ski. And we like to call that the uh -huh. Power of Four. So we're very spoiled yes. out here. Yes. When the your ski group comes to Snowmass, uh, there's going to be four mountains on the lift ticket. So it's Aspen Mountain, Snowmass Mountain, Highlands, and Buttermilk. Uh, you get to all these mountains from Snowmass with our complimentary bus service so then you can check one more item off your bucket list nice. and say i skied aspen for yeah. example <laughs> and a big value that we have yes. compared to a lot of the mountains that are closer to denver is we don't get that city traffic no. so we're not we don't have a ton of lift lines no. everything's everybody's super spaced out so it adds a lot of value if you take that extra effort to come out to snowmass you're going to get that extra value yeah. um, when you're actually outside less crowds huge mountain to ski open space it's it's incredible out here all right enough about skiing tell us a little bit about off mountain activities off mountain activities like most of all our specialty upright ski we have ski. like uh, over 33 restaurant and food uh, restaurants and food outlets but we also have uh, if you don't ski go go snowshoeing or uh, cross country skiing uh, maybe snowmobiling is uh, on your bucket list, right? Uh, there's uh, ice skating. We have two ice skating rings. 
there's tubing, art classes, beer test tastings, um, nature a hikes, a lot. So, uh, yeah. You really don't have to be super no. active to no. find something to do out here. If you just want to sit on your deck with a glass of wine and take in the mountains, take in the fresh air, that's an activity in itself. Most definitely, it's <laughs> the best activity in itself. Yeah. And if you, for example, want, uh, so let's say for incentive groups, uh, something more elaborate, um, mm -hmm. you know, outside of skiing, we work uh, closely with uh, DMCs and they create the most amazing um, extracurricular activities for our groups. Um, yeah. 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 All right. Speaking of all that, these activities, I'm getting a little hot. Should we start talking about summer? Oh, most definitely. All right. right. Away, We're going to play our summer video now. Yes. <laughs> So excited for some summer activity. I Great. Know. That's a beautiful hat. Where, where do you like to wear that hat? Oh, I, I love to wear this hat when I go to the Snowmass Rodeo. The Snowmass Rodeo has been in Snowmass for the last 40 years. It's one of the most beloved uh, summer activities for our guests and our groups. And um, yeah. Yeah. Looks great. <laughs> Thank you. You too. So speaking of weekly activities, we're very lucky here in Snowmass. So we got we pretty much can set up a whole itinerary for your group yes. um, with what we have going on. So we have Monday nights. Um, we Actually, no, I'm going to start on Tuesdays. Tuesdays, we have uh, sunset dinners. So our, our gondola stays open later. So you can bike into the sunset. You can take the gondola up. You can hike. And we have farm to table dinners. Those are on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. Wednesdays, we have the rodeo. Yes. Thursdays, we have a free concert out on our ski hill. It's the locals' favorite uh, day of the week. We get about 1,000 people that come out. Yes. And there's free music, dancing, good times. And then Fridays, we have Fridays on the Mall, which is um, another set of live music. While people can shop, they can poke around the restaurants. Um, so we're lucky. We, yeah. we have a lot going on in the summer. And from an activity standpoint, we have... Hiking, biking, jeeping, rafting, fly yes. fishing, hot air ballooning, you name it, we have it. And what I love, especially about our town, is we work very closely with an outfitter that can book all those activities. They also have transportation. Um, so you're talking one invoice for everything. So from a planning standpoint, they make it super easy. They have a department that specializes in group activities. So you're going to get someone that's going to help you create an amazing itinerary that really is the right fit for your group. They're going to make sure people are going on activities that um, match them perfectly. So we're very lucky to have that here in our valley. Yeah, you know what people say, I came for the winter and I stayed for the summer. It was what happened to me several years ago. And um, like summer is actually like my, one of my favorite, um, you know, uh, seasons here in Snowmass. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but uh, so, like, what do you think? Like, uh, like we have like all these fun things, but where do we put them? Like, where good do we question. Put them? So, um, we have over twenty five thousand square feet of meeting space. We are very lucky. We have a Snowmass Conference Center, and it is adjacent to our largest hotel, which is a Viewline Hotel, which is actually a part of the Marriott Autograph Collection. And that hotel has two hundred and fifty four rooms right next to the conference center. And within the conference center, their their largest space is over 11,000 square feet in their ballroom um, attached to the 24,000. So we can fit the larger groups. And yep, we, we love it. And they really feel like they can kind of take over our town, um, feel at home here, not feel lost in the crowd. Yes. So we get a lot of that, um, which we love. Can you kind of tell us a little bit more about the hotels? Yeah. 
Uh, we have a Viceroy Hotel here in the luxury segment, 164 suites. Um, it's uh, anything from a your one, two, three, or four bedroom. They have 9,000 square feet of uh, meeting space, just like the Viewline Hotel also. Ski in, ski out. Next to the Viceroy is the Nine Light Hotel with 99 rooms, also built right at the base of Snowmass uh, Mountain. And then we have um, the Stonebridge Inn. It is, uh, it's uh, one of like my favorite places. It's uh, quaint, it's cozy, great restaurants. Uh, it, and it is really, uh, they have attractive uh, pricing. And like I said earlier, when I have like all these CMEs here in the winter, we find often very good, um, you know, uh, very good home in Stonebridge uh, for, let's say, the young fellows and young doctors. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yes. Yeah. And moving on from the hotel product, we're very lucky because we also have a lot of condo yes. product. Mm -hmm. um, we have Destination Hyatt and they operate over 12 properties here that are all different types of condos, anything from standard to luxury. So if you want that overflow from the hotel, if you have a group that is a better fit for condo, we can easily help accommodate that, Absolutely. Um, which is great. But uh, Freddie, can you can you tell them the best part about booking in Stomachs? Oh, the best part, um, Kimberly, is uh, working with us. Uh, all our services uh, at uh, Snowmass Tourism, uh, it's free. So no fees, no... Um, Commissions, no, nothing, and uh, just our expertise um, at, at your fingertips, so you don't have to wreck your brain. Consider as part us part of your sales team, um, and we can put really like any kind of itinerary together, but also really help with lodging, especially with groups that have different needs, hotels, and then somebody needs a condo because they bring the family or the grandparents, for example, and somebody needs a luxury hotel to feel really welcome and so somebody else needs to look uh, you know at their wallet and we have that and you just reach out to us and say hey freddie hey margo this is what we have in mind uh, what do you got and then yeah. we'll just put it together for you and uh, we would be excited to do it for any of you and, and i know when i looked at uh, the uh, attendee list uh, there's like a whole bunch of um, you know um, that already had come to snowmass and know how we operate. Yeah, we, we love, and like Freddie said, we're a free service. We're just here to help you guys. Yes. And we're so passionate about our town and we love our community. Everyone works so incredibly well together. So we are really here to help you make a really strong itinerary that are going to leave long lasting impressions on your groups yes. because we, we believe in Snowmass and we know the value that our town has. Absolutely. So, yes. And we love working with Prestige. So thank oh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before we forget, like, you quick shout out to Meryl. I was just in Washington, D.C. We had like an event, like an evening with Prestige. Meryl, that was like a killer event. So, so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to play you guys one last video yep. that combines summer and winter. And then we're going to have our closing final thoughts. Okay. If you want to leave, just close your eyes. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. There's an ocean in a mile where the world just floats. Taking the globe. Here we go. Let's put our heads together. Let it kick and slow.
Okay. So final takeaways. If I just want, if I want you to remember anything from today, I just want you to remember Snowmass as being small town charm yes. next to one of the largest ski areas in Colorado. Ease of access, fun people to work with, and really good times. And the, you know, we create the memories that your attendees will take home and think about for a really, really long time. And uh, we are giving some prizes out today. So the first 10 people to email either of us, um, what, the, what is your favorite thing that you learned about Snowmass will get a little surprise package. Yeah, or just put it in the comments, however it works, you know, um, yeah. Send us what you learned and what you like best about Snowmass. Can't wait to hear it. <laughs> thank you. And thank, thank you so much, Prestige, for inviting us today. Thank you so much. That was fantastic. I um, texted Ricky and Jimmy while sitting here and said, I'm just ready to move to Snowmass. <laughs> what, an, what an amazing place. Thank you so much for um, sharing everything, Freddie and Margot. Do you have questions? Um, oh, we see in here, what is your email address? Um, I, to send those email comments, do you want to, can you put those, put your email address in the comments? Yes, yes. Um, we'll put them in there, yeah. thanks. Okay, that sounds good. Um, did anyone have any questions? Just kind of running through the comments. I see a lot of amazing things about snow mass so listed much. in the comments. Yeah. Has anyone been to Snowmass? Oh, Julie, what's your oh, favorite thing? And actually, Freddie and Margo, I met you guys. Um, I think it was 2019, and I came out with Sheila. Yeah. Sheila Kelly. Yes. And we, yes. yes. And that was, I've always cool. loved Snowmass. I, am, I used to run Ragnar's, and we um, the Ragnar ended in Snowmass. And so that's when I first fell in love with Snowmass. And going and doing the Colorado, since I live in Colorado, I, I always did the Colorado Ragnar. Um, but then actually going and, and staying there um, at the Limelight, beautiful hotels. Um, it is probably one of my most favorite Colorado, it, not probably, it is my most favorite Colorado destination in the mountains. Um, and I tell people that all the time, go to Snowmass. It just, it doesn't feel rushed. It doesn't feel, um, what's the word? It just doesn't feel overwhelming. It, you feel like you can enjoy yourself without feeling like um, just that over overpriced, over, you know, you, you feel like it just, it, it has just such a great feeling. It feels like you, everybody you meet there is friendly. The restaurants are so good. The shopping, the shopping was um was great. I loved everything about it. And going there, um, I've been there in now in the winter. I've been there in the summer. I've been there in the fall. The rodeo was really fun. That was really fun. Um, and there's just so much to do there. Like we like to take our kids there. Um, we love riding the gondola. I just, I could talk all, I could talk the rest of the time. So I'm not going to, but I love snow mass. I love snow mass. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks for the two <laughs> We do have two questions that have popped up. One is, is it easy to fly from Europe or South America? Europe or South America? Yeah, typically they do layovers, um, I would say pretty yeah. popularly um, through Texas, California, or Chicago. Okay. Yeah, we get a ton of international traffic. I would say mostly in the winter, like we get a ton of Aussies, uh, Brazil, uh, Mexico, um, usually in January, February. International is huge out here yeah. for the ski season. And I think that if somebody comes from South America, then the, they would lay over either Houston, Dallas, maybe, you know, Atlanta, you know. But so, there, yeah. Uh, and if you need more information, we will definitely send out the flight. Fly map. But if you have specific like uh, questions regarding flights, let's say coming from overseas, we have like somebody we work with, Bill Tomchich, and he uh, he is everything, flights, airports. Mm -hmm. He's our airport contact. Yeah, he's, he's wonderful. Like a wizard. So uh, no direct from New York. I see that in the chat. Uh, that typically no. is a quick layover in Denver. Denver, we have over nine flights a day coming in, and that flight from Denver to Aspen is only about twenty minutes. Yeah. Um. So any East Coast, unless they unless they shoot you over to Chicago and put you over, it's almost nice. always Denver. Yeah. Um, and then what was ballooning? Oh, yeah. 
ballooning well, is listen, summertime. Yes. It's an early morning activity. You okay. have to get up right at sunrise because our winds pick up pretty heavily um, during the day and we're very close to the airport. So it's a really early morning, but it's beautiful and they'll land and they always do a champagne toast afterwards. Um, so it can be chilly, but once they, you know, get that thing cranking, you're underneath the heat. Um, it's gorgeous. And, we have and it makes you get up early. And we have this lovely balloon festival in September. September. Early September. It's a big balloon festival, not quite as big as Albuquerque, but really quite stunning. And um, yeah. And yes, um, a lot of our hotels, almost all of them have meeting space. So we only talked today about the conference center. But our luxury hotel, Viceroy, has a big ballroom over 6,000 square feet. We have a Limelight Hotel that also has meeting space. And the Stonebridge, which she talked yes. about, has multiple meeting spaces. So we can send you a better better breakdown of everything. Yes, we have definitely plenty of, of meeting space. I think combined meeting space might be close to 50,000 square feet of meeting space. Yeah. Yeah. Um, big houses. I, I would say we do four, four bedrooms. As, uh, go, they go up to in the condos. We don't represent any of the houses working for the town of Snowmass, but there's certainly homes that we could recommend for you if can, that's what you're looking for. Yeah, or maybe yeah. recommend one of like our rental brokers, um, yep. our stakeholders. You know, we have plenty of real estate offices and mm -hmm. recommend a really great broker if you need a big house for one of your groups. Easy yeah, enough. there's some large ranches within um, Snowmass as well over an old Snowmass. So if you're looking for that kind of ranch, you know, rental type style, we do have that here. Yes. And then we had, um, what was the name of the Marriott that you mentioned that's in Snowmass? Viewline Property, Viewline. It's a view line. autograph collection it. property. They just underwent a $44 million renovation and it looks really, really, really great. Okay, and then what month is the rodeo? Rodeo typically starts the third week of June and it goes throughout August. Yes. All right. Were there any other questions? Anyone else ready to go to Snowmass? I am. Yes. Come, <laughs> Come hang out with us. Yes, hang out. <laughs> yes, it's it's getting to be um, cold in the Midwest, so I'm ready to go. And it's flat here. So, well, thank you everyone for joining. Um, any other questions, you can always feel free to reach out to Prestige or um, to your specific Prestige contact, and I'm sure we'll all be following up um in the coming days to see if there's anything we can do to help hey, thank you so much thanks yeah. everyone okay. thank you marco Bye. and freddie that was awesome thank you <laughs> thanks have a great day you too you too Bye.